And we are on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is Richard Forster again. I'm here with Anna Garcia. Hi, Anna, from Operation Care. Walter? Walter Graham. Hi, Walter. How are you doing today? Yeah. I'm glad I had you pronounce your last name. So, um, You have a lot of things going on with Operation Care, yeah. always. We're busy, busy, busy right now. Yeah. Um, we have a few different fundraisers that are getting set into motion. Um, this Saturday, we have our Color Madness, our third annual um, Color Madness on Broadway. And then coming up in March, we have Amador's Got Talent again. This is our third annual, one of those also. Now, on the, the fun run, color, you used to call it the color walk? or Color madness. Color madness, mm -hmm. okay. And by the colors, I guess it is madness. Mm -hmm. it's um, a big mess. Are there a lot of uh, older people that participate in this? We have people from all ages. We have moms pushing strollers with little babies because um, it's, a, it's a fun run walk, so people can walk. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to run or anything like that. So we have a lot of different ages participating. Do the older, uh, the uh, older kids, I guess, the uh, young adults and, and adults, participate in the color stuff too, yeah. I bet, huh? sometimes they're worse than the kids, they just get covered in it. Mm -hmm. Walter, have you ever done that? Uh, no, I haven't. This will be my first time seeing involved in it. But, but you'll get all colored up too, I would suppose. Yeah, most likely. Mm -hmm. Now that's happening this Saturday, is yeah. that right? It's this Saturday. Registrations are at 9. Um, the run portion will start at 10, and then we'll start the walkers and waves uh, probably about 10.30 after the runners start coming back in. Yeah. It's, it's all about having fun, but it's also to make awareness of uh, some issues, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, February is nationally recognized as Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month, and so this is our campaign for teen dating violence awareness. Um, we like to share with the community the statistics of the fact that it is happening. It's happening in Amador County um, so that young people know where to go, um, what they're able, what services they're able to receive um, being younger. Sometimes they don't realize that they're entitled to the same um, services that like a grown person would be that's going through um, a domestic violence relationship. So it's just to really bring awareness so that people have a better understanding of what teen dating violence is and where to go for help. And I guess it, it can be called teen, but it can be called young adult because you, you better get used to it. it. It happens. I mean, my daughter had a violent situation with a boyfriend that potentially could have turned real bad but yeah. when she broke up with him mm -hmm. because... Um, she didn't. She knew some of the things he was starting to do, yeah. and uh, he slammed his fist down the top of her her pickup and mm -hmm. uh, dented it. To, hit it so hard he dented it. So yeah. um, fortunately, it didn't go any further. But uh, it does, though. Mm -hmm. It can. So I want to bring awareness to that. Mm -hmm. uh, Walter, what, what's your involvement with Operation Care? Um, I'm a program specialist on Operation Care, and I help with uh, the youth programs and kind of do what they do, but just on a, like a teen level. Because I'm only a teenager myself. Mm -hmm. And you, you find it pretty gratifying what you're doing? Yeah, I like to help people. It's, I really enjoy it, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, you have something coming up in, in uh, March, too? Yep. In March, we have Amateurs Got Talent. Um, it's a talent variety show and dinner. Um, that's being hosted at the Jackson Rancheria, and I'm sure we'll be back on to talk more about it. Um, tickets are on sale. They're $55, and they're available at our office. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other services Operation Care provides? You're ta we talking about the Fun Run and, and Color Madness coming up uh, this week, this Saturday. But you can also, and that's rain or shine, by the rain way, Rain or too. shine, yep. <laughs> okay. We tested the paint, and it'll work in the rain. Yeah. It's going to be really messy, but it'll work. <laughs> yeah. So um, you have some of the other issues you concentrate on. Um, so we are a domestic violence sexual assault crisis center, so those are our main focuses. Um, we provide a number of services. We have a safe house, one-on-one -on -one counseling, domestic violence group, economic empowerment group. Um, we do restraining order assistance. Um, the, the safe house is for just women, or do you have another place for uh, men too? It's we provide the same services to men, women, and children. So um, it's gender specific because of our grants. That location, our traditional safe house, is usually just women and children. But if there were no women in it and we had men that needed to come in, we recently found out that we can house men in there, just not co-ed. Mm -hmm. um, but we do provide the same length of stay for men, but it's in a different location. And there are instances where, where the men are the subjects of domestic violence, too. Yep. It, it happens to everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just less reported. Yeah. Now, the event coming up this week, if, if people, um, the Color Madness 5K Fun Run Walk, um, if they want to come in, what time do they register on Saturday? Um, you can register ahead of time at our office and pick up your T-shirt in advance, or you can come to, you can show up at the First Five building at 9 a.m. on Saturday, fill out your form, get your T-shirt and your paint. That's on Broadway, is mm -hmm. that right? Right yeah. next to the CHP, yep. basically, it's on the back side of the 975 Broadway. 
Okay, and is it a free event? It's fifteen dollars for adults. Uh, the children eighteen and under are over. Okay, free. All right, and uh, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you.